Decarbonization is the biggest economic driver of our generation. It will be bigger than the internet. When you think about every single part of the economy, it uses electricity. Since we've founded electricity, it's been created by burning fossil fuels. And the transition away from the fossil fuel era is going to require us installing billions of machines into the power grid, which is what is needed to make sure that we get to that clean energy future faster. In every sector over the past 20 years that have made sea change, it all started with data. What we've done here at Arcadia is we've actually flatten that fragmentation. We've digitized that data. If we're going to achieve our net zero emissions goal, we have to have a change. And at Arcadia, we are at the beginning of that change. I grew up in a small town in, in Eastern Kentucky and growing up there had a pretty profound impact on how I think about energy there are parts of my hometown where the mountaintop's been blown off because coal companies were trying to get coal in the easiest way possible. I, I worked in public policy and started learning about clean energy and how there is an alternative. What I realized is like, if we're gonna give people access to clean energy, you need to pull out all the rich data that lives with utilities so that the companies that are providing clean energy can actually build their projects. Products and choices are what customers want to drive change. Data is the beginning of that. Things like electrifying your home, moving off of fossil fuel options, all of these are driven by data, our data. Today, we empower almost every energy innovator to allow them to deliver their products and services and value propositions to customers who want cleaner, cheaper energy. We unlock data from meters uh, across 8,000 utilities across 50 countries around the world, and we make it useful to companies like solar companies, energy storage, heat pumps, electric vehicle companies. So we have usage data and we have, it's called tariff data, how energy is priced. So we have 25,000 different rate structures in our database that help people understand how energy is priced at noon or at midnight, how energy is priced for a large business versus your home. And all of that needs to be optimized around price structures and around usage. And for the first time, we're unlocking that data, making it easy for the innovators who are installing these projects to actually do their work and, and do it easy. Our technology is advancing the, the electrification process and the energy transition that help not just corporations, but consumers achieve their renewable goals. Rooftop solar companies use our information, our tariff database and tariff calculator to calculate proposals for customers and show savings. Another example around the automotive industry, 80% of EV charging is done in the home and customers don't understand how the charging and pricing works. So what our technology does, it actually informs and demystifies the charging experience. This charge optimization can save hundreds of dollars in somebody's energy bill annually. Corporations use it, our data for energy efficiency and sustainability. So not just cost management, but sustainability goals internally. So there's a myriad of use cases that our platform and our data provide. Sustainability needs to become part of every element of business. The only way to bring this forward is for each of us to do our share. Salesforce's superpower is delivering enterprise trusted software, which is why we made sustainability one of our core values and why we brought net zero cloud to market. And there is no planet B. We have to make this work in our planet. Businesses need accurate, trusted, and verifiable information and data. Salesforce and Arcadia are the two companies that can deliver that solution. When we started the company, it was all about customers buying clean energy. Community solar is the fastest growing segment of solar in the US, and it's for everyone that doesn't have a roof or can't put solar on their roof. And so community solar is a large project in a field or somewhere in your neighborhood or your city or town uh, where a platform like ours can deliver the power to people who live in apartments 
or uh, anyone in the community. And you need data to unlock that, to make it work. And that's where our platform really shine. It's really solar for everyone, not just the few who are wealthy and own a home. Arcadia was really an innovator in the space. They were the first ones to provide uh, consumers with community solar subscriptions without a FICO score and without a long-term contract. I've been financing community solar for the last 12 years, and I saw FICO scores and long-term contracts as a barrier to entry of consumers of acquiring solar power. So I was immediately attracted to the offering of Arcadia. You know, we look at the landscape of companies providing community solar subscriptions, and Arcadia really stands out. We're building a large independent power producer, so we wanted a bankable, reliable partner to come along in the community solar subscriptions. So in all our efforts that we're doing and everything that we're doing these days in order to decarbonize the economy, having the ability to buy green electrons and green power, it really opens that up. So from our perspective, it's something that we'd like to see everywhere in the U.S. because we want to decarbonize. We want to offer consumers the ability to buy this clean power. We have over 1.8 gigawatts under management, which is roughly north of 200,000 customers and growing. And we're a big reason why the market unlocked, because previously it was a manual process, dual bill. We've changed all that with our technology and our platform. I fundamentally believe that data is the key to unlocking rapid electrification and a rapid move away from fossil fuels. So we have all the tools we need. It's a political and a financial problem and ultimately a data problem. If, if people have those tools, then we can get to 100% clean energy much faster than I think anyone expects. I see us being at the center of the entire electrification process. And we're gonna lean into ESG. We work with almost all of the major carbon accounting platforms out there. And it allows us to do it at scale. No more spreadsheets. All comes out of our, our data platform. And that unto itself will drive further innovation and accelerate our goal for net zero emissions and decarbonization.